since we keep going back in, I take it this process is working for you somehow. Yes. Succeed or fail. I feel progress. Clarity. I need to see it through. Very good, Bob. An infamous act, one they still spoke of in the years of rebuilding. I somehow doubted they meant it so literally. I'll give you this, brother. Your technique has improved immeasurably. I needed his power to secure my vengeance against the gods. I believed I had no choice. No choice? You could have not ripped my head off my body. That was absolutely an option. And he's back. But that wasn't the worst of it, was it, Kratos? Killing me deprived Greece of the sun. They were plunged into perpetual cold and darkness. Crops ceased to grow. Famine descended on our homeland. Not that you cared. Enough. He is better, isn't he? Kratos, I'm curious. Your decision to behead Helios, was it fueled by any personal motivations? Or was it really just a means to an end? It was not personal. I did know him long before I killed him. He was as insufferable as any god. But his death brought me no satisfaction. Did you know what would happen? Well, when Helios was captured by the god of dreams, the lands fell into darkness and were not restored until his return. I knew exactly what would happen. <clears throat> Even a short-term advantage could pay off. Kratos, I hope you'll forgive me for overhearing. But before you first found your way to me, you were grappling with the symbolism of your former season of power. May I offer a perspective? You may. Before I became God of War, I felt as hesitant as you did. I feared that taking the throne would only validate Odin's power hierarchy, which even then I didn't trust. But I decided I could wield a better influence on the inside than on the outside. There are many ways to lead, and not all of them involve ruling. The throne and the office 
or only what you bring to them. Dear, earlier you spoke to me as though I seek to lead. As if I was someone to be followed. Your self-criticisms, valid and otherwise, seem well reflected here in Valhalla. It's no accident that your mind manifested that throne. It's more than a symbol. It's a challenge to revisit your assumptions. Mimir is right. You have the power, and I think the wisdom, to redefine what it means to you. To assert that power is to prove to yourself that the chair doesn't change you. It doesn't make you a new person. Not if you know who you are, why you serve. The one Valhalla's marked. Interrupt the When you need it. I think Valhalla's burden is satisfied. to ascend to the next area if you're ready. It may be just for this try, but a little assist would be nice. Oh, 
going to kill him. Guess you're not done with me yet, Kratos. And lest we forget Kratos, lest we neglect to place your deed in full and proper context, I saved your life. Me! And you literally tore off my head for my troubles. Imagine if all your new friends knew how you used to treat your old friends. Of course, you're not the same man, right? Now, you only get your friends killed through lack of foresight. Far easier to blame others that way, am I right? I know you are a projection of the mind. But for what it is worth, the death I gave you was unjust. Oh, how touching. Yeah, not actually worth the spittle it took to mumble that out. Do not do that again. Nobody wants to hear that from you. A little something to remember and buy. I truly hope it brings you unrelenting torment. Chills you just a little when they do that, doesn't it? Feels like judgment. Man. 
Right side, side to the everything. Target has fallen. Wait a go, killer. The one Valhalla considers a challenge.
troglodyte? Don't hurry up and make a decision on my account. Again, still not used to that. <laughs> the good Spartan returns. I have another cherished weapon from my travels to show you. Ready to see? Defend yourself. <laughs> it's all in the wrist, you know. 
How did it feel to plunge your homeland into darkness? I did not intend the land to suffer, but I was indifferent, consumed only by rage and retribution. That is not what I asked. How did it feel, in that moment, your soul given over to darkness, bringing a darkness over everything you could see? It felt... true. <laughs> I yield. I yield. Good then. I don't think you are indifferent, Kratos. I think you were hurt. Deeply hurt. And you handled it unskillfully. Wait. Is that you restoring the sun? You took Helios's chariot and put the sun back in the sky, but sacrificed yourself in the process. Yes. I fell to my death and was saved by Helios. But this memory happened before I killed him. My evils were yet to come. What is the point? That your legacy has always been a complicated one. That goodness is not a destination we arrive at, but a practice. Misfortune may drive anyone to darkness. We resist it only through wisdom and vigilance. 
you are not so unskillful now as you were then. Better voices in your head, you might call it. I think that's enough for now. You have much to contemplate. Yes. Back to the beach, then. You should be proud of your progress, Kratos. See you soon. It seems like you're making progress, whatever you're doing in there. Perhaps. Listen, I... know I made you feel like we expected more of you than you could give. And I just want you to know, I'm not asking you to change how you are or who you are. We had to break the old world to build a new one. Picking up the pieces and putting them together stronger, it's a rare opportunity. You made a difference here. In some circles, a symbol of change. On many days, just knowing that you're a part of the Council is enough. And other days? You've earned a voice. How you use it is up to you. Sigrun, inside we encountered a son of Thor. It wouldn't really be him in there, I can assure you. You have a memory of a past fight, and I'm sure Valhalla takes advantage. But why him? I don't think that's for me to say. Well, something for us to ponder in between melees. <laughs> <laughs>